Hi, my name is Yilin Zhong. I'm a Chinese writer living in London for many years now. I want to talk about the very recent YouTube, a uh, very hot issue about the pianist, the British uh, pianist. Um, I think his name is Br Brendan. What he suffered from the a group of Chinese. Some people are saying that that a group of Chinese students, but after their identity. Identities were revealed. We know they are not students. They are all like thirty or forty years old adults. They would definitely be responsible for whatever they were doing and they were talking about. Um, it's completely a mad issue. It's completely. I think that's rather stupid or insane. And I don't know if they have the problem or anything. Even though they were speaking English, but they didn't sound like neither. British nor Chinese because I don't I don't know anyone that stupid so far. <laughs> I just cannot believe this could happen. So what I want to address today is um I know this one major issue which Brendan uh, said in his following um, video saying that the uh, the so called British woman uh, the one who dressed in red and she was saying don't shot him for five times between the video I think it's like uh, on the thirteen minutes. 32, uh, 32 to 34 or something and she I, I heard it repeatedly again and again she definitely said don't shoot him but I would th I would guess I would have guessed he was trying to say don't film him at that moment and Brendan himself said probably she was saying don't shout at him I'm pretty sure she didn't say at so definitely she didn't say don't shout him she definitely said, don't shoot him. So at the beginning, I was thinking she might be meaning that um, don't sh film him. But later on, I saw other videos and other uh, disclosed things um, because they were saying that she might be one of the Chinese officers uh, daughter or wife uh, for that point I doubt it because for her you know, no Chinese uh, government officer's wife or daughter will be doing the plastic surgery like what she did. So I'm pretty sure she was from a nowhere, at least a normal family, definitely not a rich or high rank officer's family. Um, and uh, I don't know how she got the British passport or identity, or whatever, but I'm pretty sure she's not a Chinese government official um, daughter or family members. I'm pretty sure about that. But I would assuming she is uh, because I did search on online about her identity, and um, as everybody knows, she was hosting a couple of uh, Chinese uh, communities uh, like New Year, uh, New uh, uh, Chinese New Year uh, festival or something. She was hosting, and she was attending some uh, beauty selections uh, uh, campaign campaigns and so on, and win the prize. That's almost impossible for her look, you know, <laughs> that's totally uh, bizarre. Uh, so I would have guessed she's, if she's married, maybe she married to someone who has connected with uh, uh, Chinese officers. But I more likely, I would say she's more likely a lover or mistress of some um, Chinese officers who lives in London. So more likely because she went to a lot of uh, um, affairs, um, uh, I mean, public events, Organized by the uh, um, how to say that the embassy, the Chinese embassy in in London or in the UK. She went to a lot of events and hosting the events. So I would have guessed that maybe she is the um, mistress of one of those officers working in the Chinese embassies, and also the one who shouted at uh, Brendan. His name is uh, I think it's Newton. <laughs> Newton. Uh, I uh, so, and people saying that. Um, he works for the Financial Times or something, and I checked his LinkedIn. Actually, he's just a contractor, and what kind of contract we don't know. So maybe it's just a part-time contract, or it's like um, you pay by each project or whatever. So he probably works for Financial Times, but it's just like a, I would say it's like more like a self-employed contract. It's nothing serious at all, and his previous um, career involved being teaching or collect con connected with. Um, Confucian uh, University or Academy, and that that was quite famous in America because I know America um, they banned the um, Confucian uh, academies um, those schools in America because they the um, American government is saying that it's like a spy base based. based a school or something. So that's what happened in the USA. I'm not sure about UK and Europe and other countries, but I saw the news from the USA and they banned that school because 
um, they, they were found to have a lot of Chinese spies working there. So I would say his background is more cautious rather than the um, probably a mistress of uh, someone uh, working for the um, embassies or whatever. So that's all my guessing, okay, based on the, what uh, the CV or the news says. So that's uh, only the guessing. And... Um, uh, oh, I come back to the topic I wanted to talk, talk about in this video. So basically, I would think uh, if without knowing all this background or all, all those those two persons background, I would thinking um, she was saying don't film him. But because of this, they do have some kind of connection with the uh, officially or not officially with the uh, Chinese embassy or, or government or whatever. So I, now I'm not sure if they have anything like gum or armed or anything. So, but Brenda himself said the MI5 has been involved to investigate further anyway. So I think everything will be uh, um, clear in the future because the British government is not stupid. Um, and also, yes, uh, this red close girl, she had a photo with a lot of uh, uh, British public uh, um uh, political uh, figures like the current uh, no the current um, chancellor um, and also the previous uh, I think the previous uh, I, I, anyway I, I can't remember I saw a lot of photos she had the um, the she had with I would guess she entered those events by the connection from the Chinese embassy in the UK that's why she got chance to meet those officers and uh, had the um, photos with them but so. I think once the um, once the UK um, how to say, but actually this event is no longer a UK event anymore. It's like worldwide now. I I just couldn't believe how stupid they are. Okay, so that's all I want to talk about in this video, and uh, hope of you follow up. Have a good day.